Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's Pick a Card reading is all about you, Capricorn. That's right, this is your July 2020 career and finance reading. We have three piles here, but before we get into that, I'm going to take this moment to ask that if you like these readings, please hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on all notifications so you can be notified when I upload. And most importantly, drop me a line down below. Love talking with you guys. If you're looking for the timestamps, they're going to be both in the comments as well as in the description box. And links that you may need, as always, are in the description box down below. I love you guys. Let's get started. Pile number one is represented by a piece of yellow jade. Pile number two is represented by a piece of green jade. And pile number three is represented by a gold stone. So go ahead and resonate on which pile's right for you. And while you're doing that, I just want to take the time to say thank you for taking time out of your day and watching my channel. I really appreciate you guys. All right, pile one, two, and three. If you need a bit more time, go ahead and pause that video. And let's get started. All right. Pile number one. My beautiful yellow jade Capricorns. Let's see what July 2020 has in store for you. We have the Page of Cups. So this is something that you love, that you've kept your eye on. A job offer, possibly um, a new car, a new something that you want to buy. Um, or it could be a promotion at work. We have the Knight of Wands, which has you moving into it quickly. You're excited about this. This thing is important to you. It means something to you. We have the Wheel of Fortune. All right, things are turning in your favor. Things are going your way, baby. And I love it. You have justice. This is meant to be. I mean, come on. Look at these two guys together. The Wheel of Fortune. And the justice card this is having everything you're meant to have because you're meant to have it getting that promotion getting that raise getting that job you've been keeping an eye on going I don't know if I'm good enough for that guess what guess you the hell are <laughs> so stay strong babes because you are going to rock it um, your outcome card is the strength card and it's here just to tell you to stay strong because you got a lot of good coming your way. Those of you looking for work right now, I want you to move forward with confidence. I want you to, instead of mailing that resume to that company that you know that you want to work at, I want you to go there in person and talk to the people. Talk to the receptionist. Make her your best friend. get to know her. If you want to work there, act like you do. Fit in with them because you're going to anyway. This is something that you're passionate about. It's something that you love. It's something you've kind of had your eye on for a while and it's meant for you. Justice is coming for you because you've done what you've needed to do. So stay strong. Um, July is going to be, I think, a good month for you guys. Some of you are going to be creating a budget. You're going to move forward and create a budget so that you can afford something that you're interested in. This could be a vacation. This could be a new house, a new apartment, um, furniture, a car, you know, something that you've got kind of got your eye on. And it's going to, you're going to move forward, like creating a budget, getting things to rights, balancing this wheel, getting it to move you know, balancing your life out so that you can afford these things that you want. Stay strong. You will get what you want. You will get that vacation. You will get that promotion. Um, stay strong and stay confident. And by confident, I mean, don't be overconfident. If you don't know something, don't go, yeah, I know that. Because when they ask you follow-up questions that you're not able to answer, you look a fool. The best thing to do is to be confident in what you know and be confident in yourself. Do you know MCAD? Nope, but I tell you what, I'm sure as heck willing to learn. And I pick things up pretty quickly. 
that allows you to still be confident without looking a fool. You don't always have to have the answer to everything. And um, you're, you're using that to your advantage this month, some of you. Some of you will be really smart about that and able to use that to your advantage. But for what I see for most, a lot of you, like those of you that are already employed, there is a project that is going to be coming up that you've kind of had your eye on or you've been thinking about, or maybe you are the one that created this project. You went to your boss and said, hey, I think this might work. And um, you're going to take the lead on this and it's going to turn things around for you, for your company, for your boss. And it's going to be good. It's going to be real good. So stay strong. Trust your intuition this month with the Page of Cups here. Um, and, and be confident because if you are in the right and always hold space for the possibility that you are not so that you can look at the situation from a neutral standpoint. Capricorns are really, you guys are really good at that anyway, devil's advocate and all. You know how to see both sides. And I see you taking the time to do that. Because when you have the page of cups and the knight of wands, A, you're progressing from a page to a knight, but you're going from something that you love from afar to really jumping into this thing passionately. You're changing the, the wheel in your favor. Things are going in your direction. Justice is going to win out. Things are going to balance for you. So stay strong. And that is what I have for you. My gorgeous yellow jade Capricorns. You guys, you're so amazing. Look at this. Look at how beautiful this is. Just even <laughs> these three cards here. Look at that. Hi. How you doing, gorgeous? You're going to be doing pretty good. I promise. Hang in there. Trust yourself. And know that you are a, a badass. I wanted to say monster, but I didn't mean it in that respect. I was thinking like, you know, how Lady Gaga calls her fans monsters. Like, you guys can do the thing. You're badass. You're awesome. You're amazing. But I realized some people might take that offensively. And I didn't want to offend anybody. Because... Life's too short to hurt people's feelings when you can be kind. It's like the whole white sage thing. Uh, to me, white sage is just another type of sage. Is it better for blessings and whatnot? Yes, but you know, when the Native Americans ask us not to use it because it has ceremonial significance, it has spiritual significance to them, I'm over here going, okay, that's that's not a big ask. I'll use blue sage instead. And I see you guys are very much the same sort of way. And I really appreciate you. So thank you for all you do to make this world better. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. All right. Pile number two. My beautiful green jade Capricorns. Let us see what July 2020 is bringing into your career and finance. We have the Queen of Wands. This starts you out the month kind of being a little bit more social, going out and about a little bit more, maybe not maybe not even outside, but maybe making more Zoom calls, uh, being a little bit more charismatic, a little more proactive in what you're doing, um, taking the reins, taking control, being a leader. And that brings you a solid new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles gives you a solid foundation to grow from. We have the Hermit here. You may be dealing with a Virgo. And the Hermit is here to tell you to go inside yourself and seek some wisdom. It can also be telling you to talk to people in that field or... Uh, perhaps even a career counselor or a financial advisor or even a lawyer, some of you. Like, some of you are going to need a contract lawyer this month because there's an offer coming in that's going to look freaking amazing, but you want to make sure it's a solid offer. So really check into it. Double check the contracts. Double check everything. Make sure you have a good legal mind on things. If you don't have the money for a lawyer, I promise you, if you're entering into any kind of contract, it is really good to pay a little bit of extra money to ensure that in the future you will not get ripped off. And um, I don't see anybody trying, but it's always good to sort of have that 
just in case. We have the Knight of Swords here saying that either you are going to be helping somebody or somebody is going to be helping you out. So I kind of feel like you're excited. Some of you are excited about a new project at work, but you don't fully understand it or you don't know enough about it. So you're going to be seeking wisdom. You're going to be asking coworkers questions. You're going to be um, asking other people about this thing and someone is really going to help you out here. So trust your intuition on this. Um, they may be helping you out, but their help may not be as helpful as you wish it was. Um, they may be helping you out in order to help themselves out, if that makes sense. Um, like, you may not be able to trust what they have to say, but I don't see anything in here about not trusting. In fact, everything in here, you know, trust your intuition. This is the white knight. He's out here to, to save you, to help you to jump in and fight for you while you're trying to find the wisdom that you need to plant this solid foundation. But it's, you're going to do it. So pay attention to your intuition. If something is telling you to do something or something is telling you not to do something, listen to that. Um, if you believe in a higher power, call it your higher power, call it God, um, whatever you believe in, if you don't believe in any of that stuff, psychology has proven that the conscious mind picks up, or the subconscious mind picks up everything. It picks up everything you see, everything you hear, everything you smell, everything you taste, and stores that information away. It's just not always able to get at that information. And that is what hunches are. That is what dreams are. Dreams and hunches are your subconscious mind's way of trying to pass the conscious mind information. When you have a dream about a pink bunny stealing your car, it's very possible you left your car keys under your daughter's pink bunny rabbit out in the living room. Um, so it's kind of kind of cool if you if you like psychology. I highly re I recommend checking that out. That's really interesting. It, it was interesting for me anyway. Um, for those of you looking for work this month. Hold the I hold the the feeling of the Queen of Wands. Keep that fire. Keep that sort of lust for life, for the job, for what you want to do, for what you know, and you'll get a solid offer here. Um, there may be somebody you need to talk to about this offer. Again, they're going to help you out and um, trust your intuition. Make sure you're talking to the right people. But it looks really good for you guys. My beautiful Queen Jade folk. I'm really proud of you Capricorns. And I hope that July of 2020 does bring you a resounding financial success. I hope it brings you a new venture that makes your heart soar. And makes it feel like you're not even going to work. You're just going to have fun. Because... That's what you deserve, guys. You're so hardworking and you're so exact with what you do. And I cannot tell you how much I appreciate the Capricorns in my life. I love you guys. Take good care of yourselves. Pile number three, my beautiful goldstone folk. Let's see what is going on for you in July 2020 in your career. We have the Page of Wands with suggest there's a new venture coming your way, a new project coming your way. Um, this could even be a new hobby that turns out to make you some money that you're really, really enjoying. Yeah, you're manifesting something for yourself here in July. Come on, there we go. The magician is here to say that this manifestation is going to bring you to a place where you're happy, where you like what you have and you like who you are and what you know what you need in your life. Come on, please focus. Thank you. So. Sorry, I'm having a fight with my camera today. The Eight of Wands suggests that a message will be coming in shortly. And it's going to be an exciting one. 
It's one that you've brought in yourself. Um, for those of you looking for work, you will be getting an interview. The Fool says, have faith. Trust your gut. You are being divinely guided in the moment. So listen to your intuition and go where you're feeling like you needed to go. We have an offer that you love coming in. The Knight of Cups in a love reading is, of course, an offer of love. In a career reading, this is an offer that you love. It could be a financial, you know, you could be selling something and you could be getting a whole lot more for it than you expected. This could be a getting a new job for those of you looking. This could be getting a raise. This could be getting a promotion. This is, this is good news. The Ace of Wands, an exciting new beginning. A fiery, passionate new beginning. Well, we like that for you. Push these up a little bit. Judgment. Something you once thought finished is kind of coming back into light. Something you thought was never going to happen for you, guess what? It's happening because you've made it happen through your hard work, through your in, through your good judgment, through this offer that comes in and ha your, ha your faith in it. We have the King of Cups here. And the King of Cups could be here to tell you to be careful financially, to make sure that you're not over in overspending, overindulging. Um, he could also be here just to say that this is a really loving environment. Um, you never thought you'd get here, but you wind up working at a place that you absolutely love, that nurtures you, that cares for you, that helps you out, um, that fulfills you emotionally. Something that you have brought into your own life through your own hard work and your own faith. And that's pretty awesome. You guys, take a moment when this happens, enjoy it and celebrate it. Make sure you celebrate it. There's almost this stigma nowadays against celebrating your achievements, but you need to. You need to celebrate your accomplishments, and you will have an accomplishment this July that deserves some celebration. And I'm really proud of you because this is not an easy road that you've taken or you've had. And it may have made you a little bit defensive in the past about certain things, but you're manifesting this opportunity for yourself. So have faith because this offer that you love is going to come in and it is going to bring you a new beginning that you love and something that you thought was over. Something that just feeds your soul, enriches your mind, enriches your life, and makes you happy. And I want that for you. I really, really do, Capricorn, because you guys deserve it. You guys work so hard. And you try your best to make sure that your work is the best it can possibly be. You are so very exacting to make sure that everything is perfect. Because you're so kind and you know that perfection is what people deserve. You're so good at helping people be, see both sides of a situation, of an argument, of anything. You're able to help people see the big picture in a way a lot of the other signs can't. And I thank you for it. And I hope that your July brings your career to heights that you never imagined possible and allows you to fly in a way that brings you such happiness and joy that you never have another moment of worry in your life. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves.